Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite Podcast. My name is Terry White, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at how we can share files with our clients, our colleagues, our friends, without having to have them be Adobe experts. In other words, we don't want them to have to own, you know, particular pieces of software to see our files. We don't want them to have to, you know, create accounts and log into specific things. We basically just want them to be able to look at the work we're doing in an easy manner without having to go through too much hassle. Well, luckily, there's a great way to do that with Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, I'm going to jump right in and show you how to share three files. I've got a Photoshop file, an Illustrator file, and an InDesign file. And what we want to do is have our customers be able to look at those files, again, without having to know anything about Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, or Creative Cloud. So what I've done is I've installed the Adobe Creative Cloud connection. That's this little icon on my menu bar here, and it says all my files are up to date. Now, if you pull that menu down, it will give you the option to open your Creative Cloud folder because your folder is actually on your hard drive. So I've got that folder open here and here are my three files. I'm just going to go ahead and select all three and drag them in. So this is typical file management just like you would do on your computer because you are doing it on your computer. And you'll notice that uh, for a brief second there it's showing me that it's syncing these files and then when it goes to a green check mark that means that the file has been synced to my Creative Cloud account. Now with your Creative Cloud account, you get 20 gigabytes of storage. So you can put anything you want in that folder up to 20 gigabytes worth. And again, the files are still on your hard drive. Even if you disconnect from the internet or go offline, they're still on your hard drive to work on. So that's not some weird folder that only works in the cloud. That is an actual folder on your hard drive. Now, if we go to our web browser, we can go to creative.adobe.com and this is where you log in with your Adobe ID, the same one you used to uh, log in with Creative Cloud to access your apps. And here you'll see your files area and you'll see the three files I just drug into that folder. Because it's synced to Creative Cloud, I can also access those files on the web. Now, I can click on this Illustrator file it will show me the Illustrator file, even if I didn't have Illustrator installed. It's also showing me a color swatch library, and that got generated automatically. So if I download that library, I can actually install it in Photoshop, Illustrator, or InDesign, and use those colors to complement other designs where I'm going to use this file. I'm going to go back up. So we saw the Illustrator file. Here's the InDesign file. And the beauty about the InDesign file is I can actually page through a multi-page file. So it's great. I can look at this file, again, without having to have InDesign installed, because uh, I am doing this in the web browser where Creative Cloud is rendering the file for me. And last but not least is the Photoshop file. Now, the Photoshop file has some magic behind it because it actually allows me to work with the layers in this particular file. So I can go to the layers area and see that there are two layers for this file, kind of a before and after. If I turn off the after layer, then I can see the before layer. So this allows the client to actually walk through the layers and see different phases of the design or different concepts. Now, we want to share the file. And I can take any one of those three and actually share them. So there's a little share icon for each one. When I click the share icon, I get the ability to mark the file public. Now, of course, public meaning someone would still have to know the URL to get to this file. So just making it public doesn't mean everyone instantly sees it all over the internet. But when I make it public, I now have the ability to allow my clients, customers, friends to allow to uh, add comments to it, or and or I can allow them to download the file if I want. But there's no need for them to download it. I just want people to look at it. So at this point, I have the ability to click uh, to put in an email address and send that email directly through Creative Cloud, or I can merely copy the link, and then I can put it in my own email program or post it on my website or wherever I want to share that particular link, perhaps on Twitter. And that way, people can then go look at this file, turn the layers on and off, uh, comment on it, and all they need is a web browser. 
They don't need to know what Photoshop is, InDesign or Illustrator. They don't need to know what Creative Cloud is. They don't even need an Adobe ID. They just click on that link and it shows up in their browser. Whether they're working on a desktop computer or a mobile device such as a tablet or smartphone. So the Creative Cloud website is also very mobile friendly. So that's how you share files with Creative Cloud. Again, whether, they're, uh, whether you're sharing to an existing creative that you're working with, which maybe you give them the ability to download the file, or you're just sharing it for proofing purposes and you want feedback. And again, the beauty of it is they just get a link, they click on it, opens their web browser, takes them right to the file. They don't have to log in. They don't have to do anything special. So that's it for this episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.